What's going on everybody? So I ended up getting some tires for both Clyde and Salty here. Uh, I'll show you guys what I got. So originally I ended up having these hard tires on from last year doing some of the uh, hard tire no prep stuff, the 440 tread wear. Um, it was always kind of a pain because I only had one set of rims and I was going back and forth between those and the Mickey Thompson 275 drag radials. Um, so this is a newer tire that they've kind of came out with, I believe, and I'm going to go ahead and try these, uh, 281150, it's a bias ply radial DOT tire, uh, I guess not a radial, but a bias ply DOT tire, and then these here, these little itty bitty tires are a 205515, these will be going on Clyde, so Clyde, uh, does not have much room, I think the stock rim size is like um a 13 or a 14 and overall tire dammer is like 21 or 22 it's like a 195 or something like that so i ended up picking up some jigs ssrs these are what's going to go on the back of clyde they are a seven inch wide rim uh, i think they'll look really cool on the back of clyde and then this is a cool little drag radial tire that i ended up picking up that i think will fit inside there no problem uh, and hopefully work well on the car, but they are super little. Uh, they almost make the two, uh, the 281150 tires look like a big tire compared to the 205s. It is, it's a huge bit of difference. Uh, Clyde is not going to have much tire, but hopefully these will work well behind him. But that is the plan today. So I ended up getting another set of rims here locally. Uh, they match the backs. They're just not the gunmetal gray. They are like a polished, uh, but the same rim. So I'm actually going to take the hard tires, have those put on those rims, have the 281150s put on the gunmetal rims, and then the new tires for Clyde will go on the new Jigs SSR rims that I got. And then I also need to get the tires on Clyde because I need to get it put up in there and measure for the Ford 9 inch that I need to put together and build for it. So you have to have the uh, wheels and tires kind of in place, mocked up, and then you can get your overall width for what you need on your rear end. So that's the plan today is to try to get, I guess, all the tires mounted, balanced, and ready to go on the cars for this year. Also, I think I'm going to go ahead and take out the full exhaust that I have on Salty, the stainless exhaust that exits behind the uh, firewall here that I built it for a rule change that happened and then it never really followed through with some of the rules and things like that so uh, all the new rules for this year is I can go back to a hood exit exhaust which I used to have on the car that's what this little hole is I just kind of covered it up so I'm going to go back to a hood exit exhaust and um, save probably 25 or 30 pounds easy out of taking that big stainless exhaust off plus I will be able to Lower the car down, and that's some things I want to try this year is getting the car lower and tightening up the suspension and seeing how well I can get it to work on, like, the slick or uh, radial or whatever this year. So uh, I want to get the car back to where I have some more adjustability. The car has to sit uh, so high in the front end right now because if you get the car too low, the exhaust will rub right now because it runs right up and above the tire. So that's the plan today, guys. I am going to get these wheels and tires off of salty so i'm gonna go ahead and go get those changed out and get all the wheels and tires switched around on the cars all right so i got all the wheels and tires pulled off of salty now the back of my truck looks like a dang tire shop but gonna go ahead and head down and get these all mounted and balanced and then bring them back and get some of them put on and some of them mocked up all right guys so i'm back from the shop with all the tires and you got to check these out the uh, little ones are super tiny all right, so these little tires are super little. They make my little tires, my small tires, as people would say, look huge. So pretty crazy. Again, 281150 Mickey Thompson uh, bias plies. And then these are the radials, but these are only a 205. So what a difference in size from uh, what would be considered a small tire to, I guess we'll call a mini tire here for Clyde. So I'm going to go ahead and get these unloaded and get them in the shop and put on the car. These here, the hard tires, they will just be staying um, as a secondary tire. So when I do go run hard tire, I will have them. All right, so I just cannot get over how little this tire is. This thing is just so cute. Look at it. It makes my small tires look so big. But uh, this little drag radial here, it's going to be interesting to see how well it'll work with the stock LT. And then eventually spraying the LT 
to see if we can get this little tire to work underneath Clyde. But here to show you guys the difference, those are the hard tires that I ran last year. Same rim, just uh, these are polished. Those are the uh, gunmetal. And then here's the new Mickey Thompson 28 1150 by 15 ET Street R. I've never ran these tires. I'm curious to see how well they work. So what I'm hoping is with the bias ply is whenever I go to a track event, they'll work well. But then also if I go to an event where it's like a non-prepped kind of street type event where you're on asphalt and you're using no prep, that the bias ply will work better than the radial. The radial absolutely would not work at all on a like bare road, concrete, even uh, asphalt. It just didn't work very well until the track would really come around. So hopefully with the bias plies and some like uh, tire prep on a bare road, hopefully they will work better than the radials, which they should because they are bias plies. So I'm going to go ahead and get these here mounted on Salty. And I'm going to go ahead and get these set up in Clyde and see how they look. All right, so I got the tires mounted and the new tire, the bias ply is looking really good. Go ahead and show you guys that right now. So it's sitting here on the Camaro. Everything looks good. It clears about the same. It looks like it might be just a tiny bit smaller than the uh, 275 Pro. And then the hard tires, those are just going to uh, hang out for a little while until I decide to go do some hard tire racing or if I was going to do quite a bit of driving or whatever, I might throw those on the car. But then you check out this little tire compared to the 28. So 28 11 50 compared to this thing right here measures out to about, mm, let's see, 23 and a half inches tall. While that one over there is 28. And this little section width is only uh, something right about maybe seven, six and three quarters, seven inches. And... That's what it looks like on the Mazda. I think it's looking pretty good. I really like the way the car is going to sit. I'm thinking that I'm about uh, an inch higher than where the factory would sit, but also the car doesn't have any weight or anything on it, like for the front and everything. But I kind of put the jack stands here. Uh, they're maybe about a half inch uh, higher than what factory ride height would be. So if the whole car lowered about a half inch, that's where the car would sit. But otherwise, I think it's going to look pretty neat. It tucks it well. Um, I pretty much went with the smallest rim and tire I could find as far as like a little drag radial setup goes. And I think it's going to work out really well. It's got a little bit of clearance all the way around. Um, I can reach up in there. The tire can probably go up about four inches as it sits. Um, the tire's probably going to sit probably right there close, maybe an inch lower. Somewhere right in there is where I plan on having it. So I really like the look of it. I think it's going to look sweet sitting on here. Not too bad. I need to get a front tire ordered so I can see that. But I really needed these so I can get it up in the air and measure for a rear end. All right, so I got the wheels up here on the lift. I think they're looking really, really good. Pretty excited, uh, things like this. Gives you an idea of what the car is gonna look like when it's all done and I cannot wait to see this thing out running around. So I'm gonna level the wheel right now and try to get a base measurement on how wide the rear end needs to be. So I'm going to come in here and put the level right here, try to get the tires leveled and centered in the wheel well. As you can see, like right now, they're touching right here and stuff. So going to do that real quick and then try to get a measurement. So you just want a measurement from like face to face. So then you know exactly where like the outside of the brake and rotors and everything need to be for the rear end when it gets built. All right, so I went ahead and got everything set. I went ahead and measured from here right to the face here. And I came up with right at 51 inches. And that's given me a little bit of clearance here. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see, but a little bit of clearance on the inside of the wheel well, as well as a little bit on the outside of the wheel well, just in case I need to try to tuck the tire or lower the car or whatever. Hopefully the wheels can set up in the wheel well pretty decent. So I went ahead and raised them up in there because I'd eventually like to put coilovers on the car and get the car definitely lower. But I know I can't go too low without mini tubbing it and I don't want to lose the back seat. And that's the reason for going with such a small tire and wheel combo. So otherwise, I think it's going to work out fairly well. I'm pretty excited. All right, everyone. So that is it for this video. I appreciate everybody for watching. We got the tires mounted on Clyde and got some new bias plies on Salty. So in the next video, I plan to get the 
hood exit back on the car and adjust the coilover spring so I can lower the front end of the car and probably do some uh, suspension adjustments for where I want to start out the gear. Uh, I want to try out a few things, so I need to look up the settings on the Viking Double Adjustables and go over all that and get a good base point for where I want to be. Right now I've had it set up for a lot of no prep uh, and I want to play with it and see what I can come up with. See if I can uh, do a better 60 foot. That's definitely something in 2019 I want to work on is the uh, 60 foot to 330 times uh, here on the Camaro and then keep plugging away on Clyde and seeing what I can get done. So hopefully I can make Rocky Mountain Race Week, which is in the middle of June. So until next time, I appreciate everyone watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time.